And you can catch Brenda every Saturday morning at 10 a.m. on Bulls and Bears. That's part of the Cost of Freedom, the number one rated business block in cable news. Well, the Treasury Department could get a $3 billion boost if federal employees and federal re retirees would just pay their taxes. That's according to one lawmaker who says federal employees who don't pay their taxes should be fired. Republican Congressman Jason Chaffetz of Utah recently introduced the legislation to do just that. He joins us now live from Salt Lake. Congressman, great to see you today. Oh, thanks for having me, Shannon. How widespread is this problem? Well, unfortunately, what we've uncovered is there are roughly 100,000 uh, civilian employees who are not paying nearly a billion dollars a year in taxes. So, you know, as a percentage, it's small, but it's just not right. If you're going to be on the federal payroll, you should be paying your federal taxes. And if you're going to apply to become a federal worker, the IRS should look and see if you're current on your taxes. And if not, you shouldn't be allowed to become a federal worker. It's, it's a simple common sense uh, uh, approach to it, I think. And we know that the IRS already has the power to do this. If their own employees aren't paying taxes, they can yeah. ax them. Um, but we're talking about more than 275,000 employees out there on the government payroll, um, hundreds of them on congressional staffs, 50 of them, I understand, in the executive office of the president. Yeah, we have nearly 700 people working on Capitol Hill in both the House and the Senate that fall into this category called serious delinquent tax debt. That is, they're not just behind in their payments here. They've gotten to a category now that the IRS says, hey, this is some serious tax debt. And uh, the bill says, look, if you're trying to get out of this hole, if you're having your wages garnished and you're trying to do your best, then we're not going to fire you. But if you're truly one of those people who are avoiding at all costs all of your taxes, then why should you be on the federal payroll? It's a privilege to be there. And uh, we got too many people, good people, who are honest people, uh, and that's who we're trying to prioritize. Now, i got to ask you, uh, the government payroll has very low turnover. It's not easy to fire a government employee. You know you're going to get some pushback. Uh, where do you think it's going to come from? Well, the Demo it's interesting enough because the, the Democrats were actually pushing a bill. See, the president on January 20th gave a speech and said we shouldn't hire federal contractors. In fact, we should get rid of federal contractors if they're not paying their taxes. And so what I've done is said, well, if you're going to treat contractors like that, I applaud you. In fact, I signed on as a co-sponsor of that bill then we should do the same for federal workers. And that's where we've gotten suddenly a bunch of resistance because the unions don't like that. That's the last thing the unions want to have. But again, it's just it's a, it's a matter of fairness. You don't pay your taxes. You shouldn't have a federal job. We will be watching your uphill fight and see where this goes. Congressman Jason Chafe, it's always great to see you. Thanks for your time. Thanks, Shannon. Well, two Best Picture nominees are emerging from the crowd of 10 as the favorites for the Oscar. The blockbuster Avatar and the critical darling The Hurt Locker.